Let's ride. Navy Captain Brad McDonald serving 20 years on submarines. So you know a thing or two and you know much more than we do. So please break down uh, these banging sounds. We've heard that Canadian aircraft teams were detecting some consistent sounds about every 30 minutes uh, in the search area. We have been told by experts that that's one way that these passengers could possibly uh, get the attention of search crews to their location. But what do you make of this? Uh, there's a glimmer of hope in the search for a sub that disappeared on its way to the wreck of the Titanic. Rescue teams detected underwater noises in the search zone, but time is running out with less than 24 hours of oxygen reportedly left on board. Roxana Saberi is following the latest from Boston. Roxana, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. The U.S. Coast Guard confirms that a Canadian aircraft detected underwater... You what? What we've got at the moment is... Well, sorry, Jane, what we've got at the moment is a huge concentration of assets, uh, the sort of things that will be required both to look for Titan, but also to get it off the bottom if they actually find it within the time scale. And I think what people are, are doing is they're trying to get as much there as soon as they can to show they're doing as much as they can, just in case it pops up. If we look at the area more closely, um, as, as we've seen, uh, these ships are coming from every direction, though. Most was when you heard this submersible the very one you had been in had disappeared honestly i i wasn't sickened or grieving or anything like that what what i don't think the public recognizes is that this is not an airline these these submersibles are one-off there's no spare there's no previous version there's one of it and things go wrong all the time out of every week excursion they have five attempts to reach the Titanic, including the week that I was out there, and usually they make they make it down only once. Built on legends, and that legends are a way of understanding things greater than ourselves.